Hello everyone, let's take a look at the basic phonology of Shan Wei Hua, which is part of Hok Lo Min. Let's start with the initial consonants. All of the initial consonants of Hok Lo Min are on this chart. To start, we have M, which is similar to the English M. Ma. The next three we have are Ba, Ba, and Pa. So the first one, B, Ba, is similar to the English B. It's voiced. Ba. The second one is an unvoiced B, written with a P. It sounds like saying sport without the letter S. Sport. Sport. Ba. The third one is PH, which is aspirated. Pa. Like saying the word port. Port. Pa. In the next column, we have N, which is similar to the English N. Na. Underneath this, we have Da and ta, there is no voiced D in Haklo Min. Da is kind of like saying stop without the S. Stop. Stop. Da. TH is an aspirated T. Ta. Over to the right, we have NG, which is similar to the sound at the end of the English word sing. Nga. Nga. Next, we have ga. G, K, K, and K, K, H. Again, similarly, G is like the English G. It's voiced like in girl, G. K is unvoiced and unaspirated. It's like saying the word skate without the S. Skate, gate, K, K, H is aspirated. K, kind of like the word Kite. We also have a glottal stop to the right here. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Syllables that begin with a vowel begin with a glottal stop. Glottal stops are also used in finals. Now let's take a closer look at the following. Za, T, S, Z, T, S, I, Tsa, T, S, H, and Tsi, T, S, H, I. T, S can represent two sounds. The sound Za is similar to the letter Z in Mandarin Pinyin. And the sound Z is similar to the letter J in Mandarin Pinyin. If the vowel that comes after TS is I, then the sound Z is used. Z. If it is any other vowel, then the sound Za is used. Za, Z, Zo, Zu. We also have S, which is similar to the English S. Sa and Z, za, similar to English Z. We also have Z, which is represented by the letter J in romanization. This is a more forward version of the English Z. Z, and L, a lighter L, similar to the L of Mandarin. La. The final consonant on this page is H, which is similar to the English and Mandarin H. Ha. The vowels and finals of Haklo Min. There are five non-nasal vowels, which are a, e, i, o, and u. All of these have nasal versions, except for u. These are a, e, i, o. The two syllabic consonants act as vowels in Haklo Min and many other Min languages. These are consonants in reality, so they're not actually close, mid, or open because they involve obstruction of the airway, like consonants. M, m, is bilabial, and ng, in g, is velar. For each vowel, the IPA, romanization, and adapted form of bapamafa, or zu in, have been written. Here's a list of every final in this language that I was able to find. All syllables in Haklamin are made from an optional initial consonant, and a mandatory final. So syllables may have an initial consonant, but they must have a mandatory final. The top chart is a list of all single vowel finals. The second is a list of all double vowel, or diphthong, finals. And the third is a list of all triple vowel, or triphthong, finals. Some finals are written in red. These are finals that I suspect exist, but I have not yet been able to confirm. More research is needed into this underserved language to determine the specifics. 
If you notice that there are any finals I have not written here, then please let me know in the comments. The first chart from yellow down to purple shows the different colors of single vowel finals. Starting with open finals, we have a, e, e, o, u, m, and n. All of these can combine with the final glottal stop, represented with the letter H. A, e, e, o, u, m, n. Some of these can become nasal, represented with the double N. A, e, e, o. These nasal forms can also be combined with a final glottal stop. A, e, e, o. Remember again that the vowel U or U does not have a nasal form. The syllabic consonants do not have nasal and non-nasal distinction. Some vowels can have additional final consonant stops of P, T, or K. I call these PTK stops. Notice that these PTK stops are mutually exclusive with nasal status. So a nasal vowel cannot be followed by PT or K. Only certain finals that end with PT or K actually exist. The same thing is true with N and NG as final consonants. Am, im, om, in, un, ang, eng, ong. The second chart shows double vowels or diphthongs. The base forms are ai, au, e, ya, yo, u, o, wa, we, and we. Some of these have nasal forms and some of these can be combined with a variety of stops or final consonants. The stopped forms are ow, ya, yo, u, wa, we. The nasal forms are ai, ow, a, ya, yo, u, wa, we, we. The glottal stop and nasal forms are ai, Ow, ya, wa, oi. Only certain double vowels can accept P or K stops or NG final consonants, so these rules apply to diphthongs as well. In addition, double vowels cannot accept final T or final N. Yap, wep, yak, yok, wak, wek, yam, wam, yang. Yong, Wang, Wing. There are some triphthongs or triple vowels in Hoklo, which is similar to many other Chinese languages. In fact, Chinese languages tend to be much more phonetically restrictive than English, but the majority of Chinese languages have triple vowels, while triple vowels are impossible in English. Triple vowels in Hoklo cannot accept PTK stops or final M, N, or NG. The base forms are yao, wai, wei. Wei can only come in the base form. Stopped forms, yao, wai. Nasals, yao, wai. Stopped and nasal, yao, wai. Here is further explanation on the final consonants of Haklo that we just saw on the previous page. As we can see, the M, N, and N, G are similar to their initial forms and contour, M, N, and N. However, the PTK stops have no audible release after the stop. This means that once the airflow is stopped, an additional sound should not be produced after the stop. For example, AP, AT, and AK. The glottal stop, final H, is also shown. Outside of this, the way to write these in an adapted form of bapamafa or zu in is shown. Final H sounds like a. Ah. Let's take a look at the tones of Haklo Min. All syllables of Haklo have a tone, with the exception of a limited number of toneless syllables. Tone 1 is a level tone in the middle of the spoken range. The word si 
meaning poem, is an example of a word with this tone. Tone 2 is a level tone at a high level. The word C, meaning time, is an example of a word with this tone. Tone 3 is a falling tone starting from a high level. Some speakers may describe this tone as falling from 5 to 3 instead of 5 to 1. The word C, meaning to die, is an example of a word with this tone. Tone 4 is a rising tone starting from a middle level. The word C, meaning to be, is an example of a word with this tone. Tone 5 is a falling rising tone starting and ending at a moderately low level. However, some speakers may describe this tone as falling from 2 to 1 instead of a falling rising tone. The word C, meaning 4, is an example of a word with this tone. Tone 6 may manifest as a low falling tone or a low level tone, depending on dialect. The word C, meaning to show, is an example of a word with this tone. However, C may be more commonly read in the fourth tone, C, in some dialects of Hoklo. Here's a caveat that comes up in the majority of Min languages. Syllables that end in glottal stops or PTK stops can only accept tones 7 or 8. Syllables without stops can only accept tones 1 through 6. So tone 7 can only be applied to syllables with a stop. Tone 7 is a low stopped tone. The word se, meaning snow, is an example of a word with this tone. Tone 8 is a high stopped tone. Obviously, this tone can only be applied to syllables ending in a stop. The word hak is an example of a word with this tone. That's it for now. Tune in next time for more basic information on Shanwei Hua. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe.